Yo, what is up? Blake here from Blake Makes Music. I've got a BTS song that I'm going to be reacting to today. This will be my, I guess, fifth um, BTS song or BTS related song that I've I've heard. This would be my third um, third BTS song as a group. I've heard a couple of solo projects which I thought were were really cool. So I have a Patreon request today. I've got a request from Amber Pierce. Amber, thank you so much for sending over your request and thank you so much for being a part of the Patreon. I really appreciate it. Amber gets to choose the next BTS reaction video because she's a, a member of the Patreon. If you would like to join the Patreon community, the link is in the description. Otherwise, feel free to write in the comments what song I should be reacting to next. I will take all the requests. So I'm really excited to check this out. I will be doing an extended version reaction to this as well, which you can check out here. And I'm going to be doing a metal cover version reaction to this song in the comments because I can't do two annotations at the same time. So anyways, uh, enough of that. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell if you are not subscribed. Help me out here. I've only got a few more um, uh, subscribers until I hit my goal of 5,000 as the record at the time of this recording of the video. I break these songs down from the perspective of a rock producer. I am a singer, songwriter, engineer, producer. And so I am doing all of these uh, thoughts based on this. I do have the captions turned on. Thank you so much for those comments. I appreciate it. And let's get started. All right, so this is Fake Love. All right, here we go. I'm really excited to check this one out. Okay. Here we go. I don't know everybody's names yet, just so you know. Oh. This is a great melody. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Okay. This sounds like uh first of all this sounds really cool i love this the music video uh every music video i've seen from bts has been incredible so far um i love this already this right out of the get sounds like um like a uh, screamo emo type rock music which is really cool that's what i played when i was in high school way back in the day and like you know when i was in like 2005 i was in like a screamo band which is weird, but that's cool. I love this is one of my favorite genres. It's like a, it's like a a thing like you know it it brings back like memories and stuff. So this is cool. I didn't. I again don't know what to expect. You don't know what to expect. Okay. Um, I like I said I don't know everybody's names yet. I'm trying to get um get that down. But let me let me go back a second ago. I'm trying to read the lyrics too because I know they're super important. I make. I will put a lot more focus into the into the arrangement and stuff, so it's hard for me to focus on all of these things at the same time. Um, the dancing's great. Okay, cool. So obviously this is uh maybe a, a about to break up song or a breakup song. Uh fake love. I get it. That's cool. Um I I dig the theme. Uh again, it's really hard for me to to focus on the fact that I don't listen to BTS in my free time because I like to expose myself on the channel to BTS. So I'm hearing that for the first time. The music the lyrics, the video, there's a lot going on. It's a lot of trying not to have sensor overload and also trying to process this 
same time. So what I might do is I may go back and let me let me listen to the music and I might go back and, and analyze the lyrics because I think it's a whole different perspective. That's a well-written song though. Where did they get these sets from? This is crazy. Okay, this may be where the non-Western arrangement comes in that is throwing me off, which is pretty cool. And for some reason, uh, my internet is freaking out. But um, so this is the non non-Western uh, arrangement. So first of all, it's called Fake Love. I think what I just heard may be the chorus. Um, but it's hard to tell because there's lots of there's lots of hooks. And just so you know, a hook in music, for those of you who aren't music people, that's just what musicians refer to or producers refer to like the catchy, repeatable part of the song. But fake love is the song title. Typically that's the hook, right? It's not always the hook. But now I'm hearing Love You So Much and or sorry, Love You So Bad. My bad. Matt. And so that may be the chorus, or maybe in K-pop. And I know it's an industry, but I'm referring to pop as like, also pop is an industry too. Um, let me see. Yo, to me, this is a much stronger hook than the, um, the fake love one. Love is so mad. Okay. All right. Interesting. So <laughs> again, I can't tell what is the chorus and what is not the chorus. Um, they're both catchy sections. And again, I think this is just my opinion. I think this has to do with a couple things um, based on what I know from the comments, not just, I don't look any of this up yet. I will be getting into this in a completely different episode, but from what I can tell, this has to do with a um, an Eastern pop, like you know, um, maybe uh, Japan, Korea, stuff like that. Song structure, along with the fact that there are a lot of people in the group, and that they use um, they use um, writing circles, writing teams, writing camps, and they all pitch in. It doesn't mean that they're making parts up just to every everybody can get their own part that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is that there's a lot of contributors here and so when you write music in a group um it's not it's not as as easy as you think it is it's a it's it's a democratic process uh most of the time most of the time and so what happens is is that you have a lot of ideas going that can um jumble things up and i'm not saying this is jumble because a lot of the best the top three songs of all time uh you know i'm saying the top at least the top two um stairway to heaven and um and bohemian rhapsody that's g in general in general regarded as the top the top songs in in uh in music history thus far when that when it was written, it was a long time ago, and they came um, about loosely the same way. They would write in a group, and they had all of these different parts, and they put them together to create the songs. And this may be why there's an extended version of the song. I'll find out in the next video, but um, I like it because it keeps you on your toes. 
It keeps you on your toes. It's still very, very, very catchy. So again, don't take that as criticism. It's not criticism. It's an observation. So let's keep listening. So this, this to me sounds like the emo screamo. Uh, again, I love this genre. This, this part sounds like it took from the rock influence. And then the other one sounds more hip hop pop influence, which is cool. And it works. If you can make those two things work, by all means, please do it. Oh, that's a lot of candy bars. All right. Okay, so real quick, I need to give Amber a shout out. She did. She did tell me on the Patreon that um, there are there's no CGI in this except for the fire, obviously because of safety. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, I, again. Um, I, I really appreciate like film and stuff too. So I, I'm almost just almost as mesmerized from the actual video than, I, than the music, almost. Uh, the music is fascinating to me. Um, so real quick, this looks so good. It looks so good. And they've got one guy here on the right that's about to do something different. Um, they're all great dancers, by the way. Um, He's the vocalist. All right, cool. Interesting. Wow, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right here, it, just because this is coming to me now. I need to get more exposed to different like K-pop and non-Western music, but because there are different people in the group that do different things, some are singers, some are uh, rappers, some do both. Sometimes the verse gets a little difficult to know what's what because verse one may be with someone singing and in verse two and three may be someone rapping and go vice versa so it kind of depends on maybe what the song is calling for which is interesting uh, but i know there are maybe four singers and three rappers from what i've gathered in the comments do you agree do you disagree i don't know like maybe that's what's what's going on here um i do like the song a lot um i think the song is really cool it definitely has um I can hear the inspiration from the music that it was inspired from. Um, again, I'm not saying borrowed. I'm not saying taken from. That's not how music works. Okay, it's you're inspired from from different things, and that's that's how it should be. The other thing is, is that uh, I'm not even like I'm like you know three fifths into the music video, and um, I don't know what to expect now. So we're gonna keep listening. awesome okay i okay i understand first of all i understand amber what you're saying about the safety thing because i don't want any of these guys getting hurt second of all standing right there that's pretty cool looking
Okay, here we go. So sometimes people write things differently. So now I'm kind of gathering my thoughts a little bit as I'm, I'm listening to this. Love you so mad, love you so bad. That could be what I would call the hook, which sometimes could be different than the chorus, like I was saying. It doesn't have to, it's not like it's labeled. Um, music doesn't fit like a puzzle piece all the time. That's not how it should be. It's, it's a free flowing thing. So sometimes you'll you'll say like a, there's a reprise or something like that. You don't have to add things to make things fit. It depends on the song itself. Fake love is absolutely 100% the chorus. The hook though is definitely the the mad and bad part. So um, first of all, this is one of the best music videos I've seen in a long time. Um, for sure. I'll give my final comments on the music in, at, at the end, though. So. This is the bridge. Okay, so uh, I'm going to say that's the bridge. I may be incorrect. I know there's an extended version of this. I don't know if there's extended music or if there's going to be an extended part of the video itself but i will find out so before i get to the extended version let me give my thoughts about this song from bts okay so i've heard i've heard run which is really good uh that was more trap rock a little bit of metal little new metal uh inspiration this is definitely as far as writing style goes very pop that's and it's good. And I'm not saying pop is a bad thing. Like pop, when people in the music industry talk about pop, they're not talking about bubblegum, teeny bop stuff. That's not what that means in, in, the, in the music world. That's maybe what people interpret because that's what they people blast on the radio. Doesn't mean top 40. It means when I say it's very pop, it means that it's written specifically to be singable. It's written specifically to be memorable and not. And, and you can call that, hey, maybe that's just a well-written song. Why are you calling that pop? Yes, that's true. But when you start listening to um, other genres that aren't pop, they're also very well-written too from a large perspective of people, whether it's like, you know, other people who make music or people who like different things. When I'm, and I'm trying not to ramble too much, but what I'm trying to say is, is that this song definitely was written for that purpose, which is fine. That's good. That's part of being successful when you start writing music. Now, I, I have not looked at the credits. I don't look at the credits before I record these videos. I definitely think that from what I can hear, and I could be wrong, I'm going to say that there are probably more than two main writers on this for sure. This is definitely written by a group because of the structure, and I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So you guys do a really good job of telling me these things or backing me up or telling me I'm wrong or, or, or that it's this way actually or giving me in insight. Let me know in the comments. What I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the extended version and I'm going to give my um, my final my final thoughts. The extended video, I'm definitely excited to check out. And then I'm going to hear a metal cover of this song, which is going to be very interesting. So let's do this. Join me on my extended one. If you if you haven't seen it already, let's see. Let's see if my opinion changes. You haven't uh, subscribed to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. If you give it a thumbs up, if you if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my thoughts on this, give it a thumbs up, smash the like button. All of my socials are in the Willow link in the description. If you would like to request a BTS uh, music video for me to react to or any other group or artist to react to you could do that by visiting the patreon which is pretty awesome this one was a patreon request thank you amber i'm going to be doing the extended one next and i will see you on the other side hey thanks for checking out this reaction video i go live on my channel and create music live while you and others chat with me there you can see how i create music with my own unique songwriting and production process so hit the subscribe button so you can see when i go live also if you make music yourself check out my book you can get it free the link is in the description make music every day peace uh -huh.